So, it's the eve before WWDC, and you know what that means. My official WWDC predictions by me, Patoma16. So let's get started. Main focuses. I'm going to just discuss real quickly, summarize what I'm about to talk to you about. I'm going to talk to you about Mac OS X Line. That's obviously going to be a main focus in WWDC. So it's iOS 5 and iCloud. These are going to be the three main things Apple will talk about, but what else lies in store for us tomorrow? Possibly iPhone 5. And one more thing, what other goodies await us? So let's start off with Mac OS X Lion. Right, there's not really that much to discuss to you here about since Apple won't really say anything that we don't already know about Lion, since we pretty much know every single uh, feature. Apple will most likely just make an official release in terms of a release date, a price, and whatnot. Um, I would expect Apple to release it via the Mac App Store as a, down, as a download, as well as obviously as a retail. And now instead of make, doing a DVD as they normally do, I would expect them to do a USB, because obviously the MacBook Air now plays a more prominent role in the Mac family, and Apple would want it to be included in this as it does not have a it doesn't ship with a DVD drive, you could buy one, but it doesn't come with a computer. And, well, I would also expect iCloud integration and a gold master seed to developers. So this is pretty much what you would expect from iCloud's 10 line next week. Nothing else you don't really know, just a few more added features. But something with a few more stuff to talk about would be iOS 5, right? So what can we expect from iOS 5? Obviously, a new notification system. This is the main feature people want from this. this. I can pretty much confirm this will be the next version of iOS. The new notification system, uh, sh of course, will be non-intrusive and will be completely redesigned because the one you have right now in, I in all iOS devices, iPhone, iPad, iPad Touch, it just intrudes. It interrupts whatever you're doing and asks you to either close it or open up another application, which just takes you out of what you're doing. Apple needs to add something more towards WebOS and Android that does not intrude and kind of disappears and you can make it reappear. Similar, I guess, to how the jailbreak community is doing. I, they actually even hired the guy who made Mobile Notifier. So I would expect something very good and evolutionary in terms of the notification system. Another thing Apple needs to do with iOS 5 is integrate iCloud as well as more social networking system based. What I mean by that is that it's inside the operating system. It's mended into the whole operating system. And well, iCloud, I'm going to talk to you in more detail about, but iCloud will definitely be integrated with iPod, with syncing. I'm going to talk about to you, to you about that later. And system based Twitter, well, it's said that Apple will integrate Twitter in everything pretty much. So you can make tweets similar to how I guess, well, like, there's not really that much any comparison I can give you, but it would be put it into the operating system and make a very and play a very prominent role in the whole layout and operational aspect of iOS. Another thing we should definitely expect are widgets. I don't know how they're going to pull this off. I would expect similar to how you do it online, that you have an actual space, that you can switch between those spaces. And that's what they would do it on an iPad or an iPhone with a smaller screen. I would imagine maybe the uh, swipe left after spotlight search and all that would be widgets and you have pages of widgets and then you swipe right back to your application so you have all your applications. That's a way I, I, I picture it to be but you never know. I guess you'll have to wait until tomorrow to see. Another thing I would actually like to have, I don't know if Apple would really introduce this, I honestly doubt they would, but I would like to see better multitasking. I, I, I find it's more of a feature they would they might address in iOS 6 but I would love them to be addressed in iOS 5 because obviously multitasking is very too simple honestly. You know Apple aims to make everything easy to use and intuitive but multitasking is just too intuitive, too easy to use what I mean. Apple should go more to, towards how the, the, uh, the Blackberry playbook accomplishes multitasking. Something that you can actually see the app running in the background. I know this would drain battery but Apple has to find a way. Apple always finds a way. So they should make a way as more visual instead of those icons because Apple should really get rid of the whole icon grid based idea, uh, philosophy below iOS, iOS and I think they should really address multitasking along with the whole grid and layout which leads us to the next section lock screen springboard revamps 
I expect, of course, the lock screen has too much wasted space, especially on an iPad. When you open up an iPad, all it has is the time and all this wasted space. Apple, they might integrate widgets, but I would expect more of like mails, mail information and notifications to be displayed there. I don't know how they're going to do it, but they have to address that. Too much, on, specifically on the iPad, there's way too much, um, you, um, there's not good use of the screen real estate. It's just a ported version of the iPhone, honestly. The iOS isn't just, it isn't, uh, it isn't used correctly by the iPad, that's what I would say. And Springboard, again, I don't like the grids. They're getting old. Apple needs to do more stuff. Because it's, it's, it's now in an age that it isn't just applications. It's widgets. It's Twitter. It's Facebook. Apple has to integrate that to the operating system. They just can't have those applications lying around there. And just you can scroll through. They have to use more. They have to be more, more stuff you can do with that. And another thing I would also... Uh, since Apple, last year they introduced folders, which is pretty much a direct feature from jailbreak. Yeah, I might expect them to, to introduce on the iPhone. Maybe rotation. You put it landscape and portrait rotations like you do on the iPad, on iPhone, and iPad Touch. There's a, there's a little good feature I, I would like to see there. But, yeah, again, no, nothing too fancy over here. And another thing I want to be, as I said before, more iPad-specific features. Because, honestly, there's no feature that operates system-based feature, not application. That's, I guess, the only one. But there's no feature that doesn't exist on the iPhone and exists on the iPad. It has to be nothing to differentiate both devices as an iPad, as a computer, mobile computer, and the iPhone as a phone, because that's what it is, it's a phone. So it has to be more features to differentiate both devices because the margin between them is too thin, honestly. It has to be more, much, much more of a difference between both devices. And another thing you definitely should expect is over-the-air updates and patches, and of course wireless syncing via iCloud. Let's first start with over the air updates. Updates, first off, updates are getting too big. Pretty much the iOS for an iPhone or an iPad, the newest iPhone and iPad is reaching a gigabyte in size. That's way too much to download every time you want to make a minor update. So Apple should really address that by making patches similar to how they do with Mac OS X. Make it more of like a 100 megabyte file that be that, that, that makes sense, depending on how large the update is to just patch the system instead of having to download the whole operating system. That's too much of a, a long up, especially people with low, slow internet connections. And of course, Apple should integrate over the air updates like Android has had ever since its inception. And this would allow for much more on the go updates and less dependency on iTunes and syncing. And of course, it goes hand in hand with wireless syncing. I would expect Apple to uh, accomplish this via iCloud, which you can sync all your stuff and through the cloud without you having to connect it to iTunes. I believe iTunes will stop playing such a big role on iOS. It'd be more of a degraded feature, I would, I would guess. Another thing I would also expect are much improved voice controls. Apple bought Siri last year, and this means that Apple has, in their arsenal, I would imagine, a lot more uh, of the intel to create this. And this would be pretty much voice controls similar, I guess, to Connect. The Microsoft Xbox Connect. This would allow you to pretty much talk to the iPhone and say, iPhone, what restaurants? Or I'm hungry or something. I'm, it'll give you all the restaurants and it'll talk to you. Pretty much more of an artificial intelligence based operator system, not simply something based on computations. The voice controls will make it more interactive, obviously, and give it an IQ in the sense that it would actually be artificially intelligent to an extent, obviously. But this is what I believe will be in the iOS 5. Who knows which, which one of these features will actually get there and which won't, but I expect the majority of these to be in the next release of iOS. And now, let's head over to iCloud. I love this picture, it's my favorite picture. Yeah, well, what is iCloud? Right, so what are the features of iCloud? Well, its main, I guess its primary feature would be a cloud-based music locker, and this would pretty much allow you to access your whole entire library which could be maybe 100 gigabytes in size, anywhere you are in the, in the world, as long as you have an internet connection. This would allow you to actually have all your music without having to use up all the memory on devices that lack on that, such as the iPhone, and pretty much allow you to, to be more on the go in terms of your music, and you can access this from anywhere, pretty much. And wireless 
go ahead, follow me on Twitter, and I will give you live, I will be live vlogging all through today, well, about one hour, everything that happens at WWDC today. So you'll get pictures and whatnot of all the new stuff Apple will announce today. So just go ahead and follow me at Potoma16, the exact same username as I use on YouTube. I like to recycle a lot. And, well, yeah, you'll get all my tweets and all that little thingies. Also, subscribe to me on YouTube. It helps me a lot. And also, like this video. It really helps me. So, yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Bye.